Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Ventress Shooter. I'm Marty, today we're going to cook a whole chicken in the Instant Pot. We'll prep the bird by brining it, buttering it under the skin, over the skin, put in some aromatics and trust it. We'll cook it for 5 minutes per pound. Last bird we cooked was 8 minutes a pound and it was terrible, it was a fail. Let's see how this one comes, let's get started. This is a 5.1 pound fryer chicken. We're checking for blemishes, any feather quails. If you do find one, just pull it out. Going face down into the brine, which is three ounces of kosher salt, three quarts of water, one quart of ice. And give it a stir and we'll take the temperature. I want the temperature to be about 45 degrees. And we hit it. Keep it 45 degrees by putting in ice as time goes on. You should have about a six hour brine. Eight hours is okay. Quick rinse and a wash up. Keep the soap out of the brine. Very important. While the chicken is in the brine, we'll make a compound butter. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter. That's one half stick. One half teaspoon each of garlic, onion powders, thyme, and five spice powder. Trying to get some color as well as taste out of that five spice powder. Let's see how that works. Give it a good mix, cover it, and refrigerate it. Chicken is now added to brine. We're gonna pat it dry. And we're gonna start working our way under the skin, trying to loosen it up. Start at the neck, working your hand gently down over the breast. Locate the membrane that attaches the skin to the sternum. You want to hook your finger, your index finger or your middle finger, pierce it and pull gently towards the neck. There you go. Thumb has it. Now you can slip your hand under the skin and work your way down loosening everything up. This is being done in real time just so you get an idea of how it works. Continue working your hand under the skin down towards the bottom of the breast. Then out towards the thighs and the drumsticks. Get it as loose as you can. Now we'll put some butter on our fingertips. Get under the skin and butter everything we can. Butter out towards the thighs and the legs. Don't forget the cavity. Then we'll butter on top of the skin as well. Now we'll fill the cavity with some aromatics. You got some onion, some garlic, some dill and rosemary. Chicken goes in the pot. I'll install the white rubber gasket for poultry. Now we'll set the timer to five minutes per pound. That'll be 25 minutes. Start to cook. In the meantime, we'll preheat the oven to 425 degrees. And now the big reveal. Chicken is out and it looks terrible see the twine trust over the wings and over the neck area this is meant to keep the breast skin tied down tight to protect it from the heat in the cook for a reason that skin has disappeared and the breast was exposed so we're putting some paprika on top and We'll put it in the oven for 10 minutes, and here it is. Uh, as I said, not looking too good. Take the temperature of the breasts. 165 is pretty good. We'll attempt the thighs. 170 is okay. We will not uh, tent the bird. Uh, that'll raise the temperature a little bit more, and it'll only dry it out more. 
So here you have it. It's a five minute per pound cook. I uh, think the Instant Pot is good for a lot of things. Cooking whole chickens is not one of them. Buttering under the skin has been very successful with uh, oven cooks and barbecue cooks. I think I'm gonna go back to the rotisserie uh, to do my whole chickens. Uh, we'll do a video on that in time to come. Thank you for watching, and if you had a better success in pressure cooking a whole chicken, please mention in comments.